Harley. How much did you pay for this? Four dollars and nine nine cents. We got a pretty mint condition ColecoVision. Three games. The manuals. Actually, yeah, everything. Only thing missing was the second controller, AC adapter. It doesn't have the RF switch, but I've just bought one of these, and I'm gonna use my amplified RF AV switcher. So, got an old tape off HBO, Ghostbusters 2, about to play. This is right before it, I don't know what this is. And that's what we're gonna do, is clean this thing up. Got this all. Polished up. Some star found that permanently fused with it. Can't really get it off. So. But other than that, that's on unnoticeable parts of it. Please do something! But, uh. Not so fast, Vigo! RCA female to F type yeah, male connector. These are my old amplified AVR. Video selector. Got it hooked up. Got my AV switchers. VCR. Hit a bit of a snag. Turns out the power supply is bad. On the pin one, plus five volts DC is on a reading 1.97. The other two are good. And reading online, that is a common problem. So other than that, it's all set up, and it is outputting to the TV a blank signal. So, we'll just go from there. Clicker. Like Clicker furniture? Yeah. Well, this isn't ColecoVision, obviously, but interrupted by us playing, or me playing, I should say, Airwolf. Well, we got three games. The one that came with the ColecoVision, Donkey Kong, Zaxxon, Zaxxon, however you say it, by Sega, and Venture. The system only came with one controller, which is one plugged into player one. Harley got one for player two. I cleaned it all up. <laughs> we actually have the instructions for Zaxxon, Venture, Donkey Kong. <gasps> oh my god. They have, it looks like a, it's a Sony Trinitron TV in the manual. <laughs> Well, I am playing on a period correct TV. This TV is two years older than the ColecoVision, July 1980. And these manuals are mint too. It's perfect. Hmm. It's a bit of in the box. Yeah, it's mint without the box. Printed in USA. This was made in USA. Something you'll never see today, apparently. Even the instruction manual for the ColecoVision. I mean, how much did you pay for this? Nine dollars. <laughs> Nine dollars, and this was all here. The only thing that happened was, um, that's what I want to get. I want to get Turbo and get the, um, the steering wheel. So we'll try to get that. Okay. <laughs> I like this. Sears Video Arcade owners, the opportunity to upgrade their systems to ColecoVision without discarding their cartridges. That's what it says in the manual here. It's expansion module number one. 
We can play Atari games on it. Now, this is just real quick. We have Donkey Kong, Space Fury. That's the one thing I know about the ColecoVision that made it popular was the near-perfect arcade ports to the home console. Donkey Kong is pretty true. The arcade version here. See, we got Zaxxon by Sega. Turbo, I want to get that. God, 1981, 82, Jesus, they're older than me. Skiing, horse racing, chess challenger, Smurf. They have a Smurfs game. No way. Mr. Turtle. Expansion module number one. You can play Atari games on it. Expansion module two is the steering wheel. You can play Turbo with that. The ColecoVision personal computer expansion module. That's for the Atom. And that was 1982. Printed in the USA. Here's the color tuning instructions for the TV set. Adjust your television's fine tuning controls, if it is equipped with manual controls, to match the colors as closely as possible. Oh, wait, there's another manual. Okay, wait, what was this one? One is, okay, one was like uh, uh, an advertisement for the ColecoVision. This one's the actual owner's manual for the ColecoVision. The only thing I don't have is the um, RF switch. However, it's pretty common. My, uh, I have two of these for the PXL 2000 video camera system. They're identical. There's no difference. It's exactly the same switch. You know, it comes out as 300 ohm twin lead, or you put a ballon on it. Me, since we didn't have it, I just bought a, as you saw, an RCA female to male F-type connector, 75 ohm. Yeah, it may help if I wasn't zoomed in the whole time. I'm busy looking at what I'm doing rather than what's on the camera. Let's edit this. The only thing that was wrong with this original unit was the adapter it came with. I did clean it up. Styrofoam kind of melted with it. This on the pin 1 was only outputting about 1.6 volts. This would power up and give a blank screen. Got another one off eBay and I'm going to dissect this one or see what the hell what failed in it. And it's like fine tuning controls if your TV is so equipped. It may be digital tuned but there is fine tuning. Hmm, that actually did something there. And I made it black and white. And to go automatic fine tuning again, you go 03. Okay. See if I got that. Okay. Ready? Let's see how badly I do here.
I've gotten so far on this game. See? One more time, and then I'll try another game. There we go. Jump more than that, Super Mario Brothers. What the hell? All right, enough of this. Yeah, this is built into the system. It always displays the ColecoVision title screen, then the game, you know, uh, the author of the game, the game title, and the copyright date. And I'm gonna press one on the keypad. I only played this briefly last night too. Try to give the three D appearance here. Uh oh. Yes, uh oh. That was like in the Langoliers, the world just ended and now it begins again. So we're gonna start here. I'm gonna crash, watch this. Oh. Damn. Wow. Okay, and the last game. Coleco Collision presents Exodies or Exodies Venture. Hmm. I'm going to choose one again because obviously I suck. Hmm. There's a bunch of question marks. Oh. Going jumping jacks. Oh, are you kidding me? You died already? Yes. Again? Let me try one more time. Oh my god. You're not recording? Well, I am. I'm totally recording. Okay. <laughs> I think the thing is, I, I, I shoot them. Oh, the William Tell Overture. What's this? Oh, wait, never mind. Put it down the hill. <laughs> Turbo! <laughs> oh, you're kidding me. Yeah, I can't kill it. Whatever. At least I have the manual for this. I can read what the hell to do. <laughs> it says, player one, get ready. I don't think I necessarily have to kill them. Wait, where am I? Okay, I'm that little dot there. Holy cow. What? Yeah, you little bitty dot. Carly. Hey, Carly. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah, I'm 
I'm sucking. Oh. Game over. Hmm. She's just purring to herself for no reason. <laughs> She's a cow cat. Moo. Moo. I'm gonna try it with the Sega Genesis controller. Oh, there you go. Okay, what's this? Huh. I'm playing. I'm playing with the Sega Genesis controller. level here. Lift the Sega Genesis controller. Let's see what happens if I go up like right here. Nope, well doesn't let you. I have to go right there. There you go, I'm playing uh, ColecoVision with a Sega Genesis controller. And I died. <laughs> 